Okay, to pay, the, the system automatically calculates your taxes and what you owe, so to pay those taxes, and it's important that you do it this way, you can't just go into your register and enter the payment because it won't take it out of your liabilities here. So um, if you use this screen, you can just click right here to pay liabilities, payroll liabilities, and it'll bring up all the things you owe, like right here's the things I owe on this particular person. And right now I want to pay the federal 941. So I, I just click on that. It's already calculated what that amount is. If you want to know what that is, here's the breakdown. It sh I just clicked on this total right here. And so it's saying, okay, this much was federal. This much was Social Security. Double. And there's Medicare. Double. And so that's how you... It tells you how it calculated it. So you don't have to have to worry about it. You just click on I want to pay this amount and if you have it set up, which I assume you probably have at least your federal ID where you log in online and get that paid that way. If you set it up in QuickBooks, all you have to do is just click that line right there and say view and pay right here. Wait a minute, where are you? Oh, okay, right I see there. you. Okay. View and pay. So it brings up this is what you owe and it and it and it and you can tell it it'll it'll tell you when it's due but if you want to pay it if if you do it this i better start over if you do it this way you have to do it like three days early because it has to have time which i think is goofy but it, anyway so otherwise you can pay it same day online you know on the computer but if you do it this way you gotta you gotta give it a few days so right now it's saying the 12th because it knows it needs a few extra days. Um, if you, and then all you have to do is click ePay right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and do that because technically I do need to do this one. So I'm gonna say ePay. It already, this is what you have to set up to have it do it. You have to have your PIN and your um, password and your login information so that it knows how to take it out of your bank account. So anyway, this is already should already be set up, and, and once it is, you just click that button, and you hit submit, and then right here, it tells you all the breakdown of what that $560.50 makes up, and it shows you right there, there's double Social Security, double Medicare, and federal. So, then you just hit, and you can hit print confirmation here if you want to have a printed receipt of it, and so I don't do that, so I just hit close. And then it says submitted, so I just hit close again. Now, and it and it it took it out of the liability. So now if I go back to, I'm gonna show you real quick. If I go back to liabilities, right here, pay liabilities, <clears throat> my see my federal's gone. It doesn't say I owe it anymore. Because it knows it's already paid. As a matter of fact, it's right here down at the bottom on 1010. I scheduled that payment, so there it is. So that's it's so easy. Um, but let me show you this. If you decide if you don't do it in time and you don't have your three day window, if you even need a three day window, but um, and you just you go to your bank account, you just go into your bank account right here, and you can enter it like a check. Because you've paid it, you didn't pay it through online. You you did it as a check. Well, no, that's not true. Um, sorry, you still can't do it that way. You just have to come in. I'll do it this way. I'm trying to do it the way, not the way I do it, but the way <laughs> it's easier for everybody to understand. So if I wanted to pay the state withholding, which you can't do directly from QuickBooks, like you log into the OT OTAP. If I wanted to pay this one. I would go online and pay it, and then I would click on this right here. There's the liability. Wait a minute. Show me where your cursor is. Okay. Right here. Okay. I clicked on that. If you want to know what that makes up, that makes up just three paychecks right here because we're doing the quarterly. Okay. So it's going, okay, for the quarter, if we don't pay it monthly, it's going to know what you owe right now. I'll put it that way. If I paid monthly, it would only show one of these. But anyway, that's what you do. That's just, that's just me showing you right here where where I got that total. And then you just click 
view and pay like before and then you just I just unclick this where it says to be printed because you're not going to print it and I I just backspace over that check number and I put EFTPS so you know it's you made it online and then you hit save see that way I didn't and I'll show you what it does I'm going to say okay Okay, so then, now, see that state liability is gone, and it's down here. This is where I paid, or, well, there it is. This is where I paid it. So, that's the other way you record things that don't go directly as an online payment, but they still come out of your liability here, and it's recorded. So, if we go over to your checkbook, that's what I was going to show you all ago. You'll see, here they are. It's already taken them out of your bank account and it shows them in your checkbook as withdrawals that you'll see when you do your reconciliation. Okay. That is, I mean, it's just so simple. And, and it, you know, I've got some unemployments here, which I haven't recorded, but it's the same way. You just, you just go online for unemployment and you file it online like you would do your OK tap. And then you show it paid, you'd say view and pay. And then I just uncheck right here where it says to be printed. And I just change this to say EFTPS or however you want to. Okay, we print them and put them in the week's, that week's folder. So mm -hmm. we, would, we would leave the print on, right? No, you're not going to print this. You go online and you, you, do your, you file your return and you do your payment online just like we just did with the state. So you did it online, but this is how you record it. You don't go to your checkbook. You go to here and you say, I want to pay this liability and it brings this up. And we're not printing it because we've already filed it online. So we're going to say, no, we don't want to print it because we're, we filed it online. So we're going to do it. We did an EFTPS. And for $22.50, and I hit save and close, and see now that's zero. Oh, oh, hang on. Now, it, it's down here showing paid, because it was up here showing you owed it. So that's how you clear them. You're not going to write a check. You could write a check if you just wanted to. No, we don't write a check, but we do print it off to put it in the envelope that we've done that week for payroll. You can still you can still print it if you just want to. But when you hit print, that's not printing a check. It's just printing a receipt. Well, because I told it not to, but I mean, right here you can hit print check. Okay. I just you know. I, you don't. I don't ever do that now, but you could. If you okay. To. Yeah. But anyway, that's really all there is to it, and then. So that, that covered, and then here's your 940, and it's it keeps a tally of how often you need to pay it. In other words, this this is just one cost, one one employee on this payroll, and you know it'll be the end of the year before they have to pay it because they don't have they don't get to that limit. But if you wanted to pay your 940, it'd be the same way. You'd click you'd click here on it, highlight it, and you'd hit view and pay. And it works the same way the 941 does. You've already got the details of where to withdraw it from already set up in here. So when you hit ePay, see it's gonna it's already got the stuff to tell it where the passwords and how to handle the, the transaction. And then you would just hit submit right here. I'm not gonna okay. do that because it's $40. But and then if I did that, then this would go away. So the goal is. Every time you make a payment, it's it's all showing them all right here. And you can always, Phyllis, you can always go back and print them here. You can just click on this and hit, oh, come on. You can, you know, reprint it if you wanted to. Okay. So, um, so I don't know that you need to keep that, but you can. I get it that you guys are <laughs> having to recreate everything. But anyway, so that, that is really all there is to it. It's very, very simple. Okay, one other thing I want to show you is we really didn't do this state withholding. So I'm going to delete it. So I'm going to do, I'll do 
I'm doing you guys doing this. I'll hit delete, check, and I'm going to say okay. So now that check came, it's not in your checkbook anymore because I just deleted it. It's gone. And then this unemployment, we didn't do that. So I'm going to delete that one. So it's very forgiving. And so now, look, they're back in here. It knows you need to pay them again because you just deleted the payments that you said that you made. made. Okay. So, uh, gosh, it just it just doesn't get any easier than that. That is really all there is to it. Okay, Jennifer. I hope this helps. And if you will sit down with me and go over this a couple times, I hope we can get it whipped out. And if you need any other help, I'll be glad to come over and video more from Karen. Okay. Now, let me warn you guys one thing. Uh -oh, um, I hate warnings. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is just reality, but until you get caught up, since these are late payments, you're going to pay them on here. Just That's the only way you can do it, but you're going to be getting some notices from the IRS saying you owe this in penalties, and obviously, you'll have to pay those too. This is only paying your liability. You have no way to know what your penalty is till they tell you. Okay. So, that's it. All right. Say bye, Jennifer. Bye, Jennifer. See you later. Good luck, you guys. Bye.